Hi, I'm Mike Hayden. Thank you and welcome to the channel. Today what we're talking about is solar battery backup systems for home. And it's really important if this is something that you're looking to add, that you really understand what is your intention you want to get clear on. If this is your first time to the channel, I'd really appreciate a like, like and a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments or you're looking to install a battery, just comment in the comments below. Now as we're talking about is get really clear on your intention and the reason that you want to install solar batteries at home. There's a couple of different reasons that people do it. Financial gain, self-sufficiency, you live in an area that's got a really unreliable grid. You've got no grid available, so you've brought a property, there's no grid and you want to basically have power. Or you just want to use more of your own solar. So it's really important you get clear on your intention. A lot of these systems, even though they're very similar, the cost can vary hugely and what the difference is. And it's really important that you understand what your intention is and your situation and where you're at. So you end up choosing the right system that's going to work and do what you want it to do. Now, most people, if you've already got a PV inverter, something like this, you're just going to be stuck with what you've got. Sometimes it's better off ripping that PV inverter off and actually putting one of these products up. I choose these four products because they're probably the four best products you can use off grid. Uh, my personal favorite being the Solar Edge and the ABV FEMA. They're the two, my two favorite products uh, to use in an off grid situation. But basically what a PV inverter does, it just takes the solar panels, which is DC current from your roof, and turns it into AC power, which is usable power in your house. So what will happen, these inverters will always service your home first, so when you're using energy. If you do install batteries, they will then send the excess energy to the batteries, and the battery will get charged from this, and then excess solar will go to the grid. So these are what's called PV inverters, AC coupled inverters. Now, if you're not thinking of adding batteries straight away, I would just choose one of these four inverters because it's going to be the most friendliest inverter in the future if you want to add. These work with pretty much most battery inverters on the market. Uh, it's more about the communications protocol. They use a SunSpec communications protocol, which allows the two systems to talk. So it's important that they have that. Now, if it's for a financial reason, you're probably better off looking at like an inverter like a Huawei. I'll use the Huawei as an example in this here. These Huawei inverters, they you can add a battery to them, but they do not work when the grid's blacked out and you've got a grid failure, you've got no backup. So you're just like everyone else in a blackout situation. They're designed to be used in a more reliable area. So your grid's really reliable, you don't have blackouts and they're designed for that financial payback period. Now, if you do want backup with these inverters, what's really good about them, like the Solar Edge, for example, was the first company to do this a few years ago. The Solar Edge have a product called a storage. So if you have a Solar Edge inverter and a battery, you can add this here and you can actually have that blackout situation where you require the storage to give you blackout protection. You can add a battery to your solar edge inverter that you've already installed. So you don't need to add that right away. And same with Huawei. And so if you do install a Huawei with a battery and in the future, you want to add that backup situation, you can actually add this product. So there's a lot of other products out there in, on the market. I just picked these two as an example with the Huawei and the solar edge are probably the two best hybrid inverters um, to be able to use to can add that battery back up to in the future. Now, the reason Tesla Powerwalls when really successful on the market is a Tesla Powerwall sort of a battery you can add to pretty much any inverter, um, but Tesla only warrants it to work with certain inverters. So we go back to that SunSpec protocol. Uh, a lot of people use the Solar Edge and the Tesla because they communicate really nicely. Uh, this is an installation that uh, our installation business did of a solar edge and Tesla power wall. So it's called an AC coupled system. Um, so you can pretty much add the power wall anywhere. As long as your inverter you've got, it's got the communications protocol that can talk to the Tesla power wall, you're good to go and you can add this AC coupled system. One of the downsides, I suppose, of the power wall is you're buying 14 kilowatt hours of battery storage up front. And there's that cost there of actually adding it. Now, if you do want a true emergency power supply. So when the grid fails, you've just got your lights and TVs and things like that will work. So this is what's called an EPS, the emergency power supply type of inverters. So these are designed not to run your whole house. They're more designed to run your lights, TVs and fridges and stuff like that. So when the grid's available, they'll always take the power from the battery and they'll, they'll supply as much as they can from the backup situation to compensate your house so you're not buying from the grid. But in a blackout situation, 
they're designed to run your lights, TVs and fridges and things like that. So you can have some basic stuff work. If you do have a reliable grid, just want your lights and TVs and stuff to work, these, these can do it and help you out in that situation. Now, if your intention is that you really want to go truly off grid and you want, or not even truly off grid, it's more about that you want everything to work in that blackout situation. So if there's a blackout, you want your air conditioner to work, you want to be able to charge electric car and things like that, you're going to want to go with more of a true off grid situation. Now, I'm going to use Tesla here as an example. You can use Tesla in an off grid situation. The things to consider are you do require to have a minimum of two power walls and there's only two generators in the world that they'll warrant for that backup situation. So if you're in a situation where, you know, you do want to be able to add a generator, you know, it's more important to understand that which generator can work with your test of power on the blackout situation. So it's really important that, like I said, we go back to the start of this video is, is to, what is your intention, the reason you want to install solar with batteries? Do you want, you know, just from a financial point of view, do you just want to use more of your self-sufficiency? Or is it that you want cold beer and air conditioner when no one else has got it when the grids fail? So I'd really love to hear in the comments below uh, your intention of what you want to install solar for. And if you do need a hand with designing, we do have a service we can help you out. So I really appreciate it. If you got something since video, please like, subscribe. Get clear on your intention. Thanks and have a great day.